Well, good morning. My name is Alexis Lavoie, and I am your guest host today for the show. And we are in the beautiful Waimanalo in Hawaii. And we have an exciting day planned for today, so excited for you guys to come along. We got some cool places we're gonna try. We're at a beautiful beach here, and then we're gonna try some food places, maybe find a cool coffee shop. So excited for you guys to come along. Alexis is in town from college and she wanted to show you around Waimanalo. Waimanalo is a beautiful part of the island of Oahu. There's a lot of cool little restaurants here, amazing beaches, not crowded. They have parking lots where you can drive over to and just spend the day. Um, I tell you what, more people should travel to the Waimanalo side. And it's such a beautiful drive all along the way. You have these just amazing lookouts that you can stop at and see. This is Sandy's Beach. What a fantastic area. I'm so glad Alexis is along today. Alexis, you have now been living in Colorado for going on your second year. Um, tell a little bit about like what the difference between Hawaii and Colorado. The, being born and raised in Hawaii and now going to Colorado for college, what's kind of like the difference? What do you notice? It's very different like from just like the atmosphere and like kind of the weather and everything, but also the people. It's been a great like change for me. I kind of like being born and raised here really wanted to go somewhere different and experience that. And it's just been super cool. The transition was honestly easier than I expected. I was expecting more to be um, kind of not enjoying the cold, but I've learned to love it and I love to snowboard and ski yeah. and I love going to college there. It's a great place. I've kind of found like a nice area, I think, that there's not a lot of places I could move to, I'd say, other than Hawaii, but Colorado's definitely up there. It's just so beautiful. And the college that I go to, I go to the University of Colorado Boulder. It's amazing. And I've always been a very outdoorsy person, so yeah. I love this the hikes that they provide there and all of the amazing like outdoor activities that they have. So I've really just overall like enjoyed all of my time that I've spent there. I was uh, saying to your sister that one thing that's similar to where you're at in Boulder and in Honolulu is that if you're in the center of town you have a city yeah but in both places here and in Boulder you can drive one hour and be literally <laughs> in the middle of the woods or in the middle of a mountain range yeah. and here if you drive one hour to the North Shore you are away from the city yeah. you are on beaches um, beautiful sand there's no there's no buildings that are higher than two stories mm -hmm. and I thought that was kind of a neat you know comparison between Boulder and Honolulu yeah. it's like you have a city but the city's this big yeah. and then one hour later it's like you are outside the city yeah. and how many places like around there are there to ski and snowboard so there's about four like main like resorts that are very popular for the college kids and then all of us who go to college there we all get a, dis a discount for a ski pass oh, so good. everyone gets it and you can go to all the mountains as much as you want we'll like switch it up the closest mountain is about like 45 minutes away um but yeah it's super convenient and everyone goes a lot which is kind of nice and i grew up surfing here and so it's kind of like a very similar way that I can like transition to snowboarding there and kind of still like keep that like passion going. It's like a very similar uh, activity for me. Alexis wanted to show you the Kalapawai Cafe here in Waimanalo. This is part of life here on Oahu. The Kalapawai Cafe offers a variety of great local foods, nice coffee shop, it's just a quiet part of the island with great food. Oh my goodness. They have all of your typical plate lunches like I was mentioning in earlier videos. That's the way we eat here on the island. And what a neat little shop too. 
This place is going to be both a mixture of locals and tourists that find their way through the Waimanalo area. And they have fresh baked goods. For me, I want to get one of these lemon poppy seed muffins and a nice cappuccino as well. Let's go ahead and grab this cappuccino and get it set up. Hawaii has kind of an art gallery inside where there's plenty of locally made arts that you can pick up as well. And I like that. I like it when coffee shops here in Hawaii do that. There's plenty on the walls as well. We ordered a nice meal of a kind of a mixture of the seafood that was done up in the local Furukake style. This is when they use a Furukake mix and a little spice. Furukake is a style of seasoning that uses kind of a nice sprinkle from Japan. It's a flavoring of seaweed and some other spices. This is the lemon poppy seed. Oh my goodness, perfect with this cappuccino. What a great place to go. Perfect after wandering along the beach. Kalapawai Cafe here in Waimanalo. It's Alexis, I'm back, and I wanted to introduce for you guys, I'm so excited, the new book by my dad. It's called The Traveler and the Bard, and it is just an adventure for all ages. It's an amazing book. In a warm, cheerful tavern, two gentlemen share stories of adventure, danger, and the hero's journey. The Traveler tells tales of dragons, knights, and sea serpents, and the Bard sings to the tavern's happy patrons. Written in the style of Old English alliterative verse and in the spirit of J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, The Traveler and the Bard is a story meant to be read aloud with passion and creativity to children and adults alike. The Traveler's adventures teach values of kindness, courage, honor, and empathy, making The Traveler and the Bard a book your family will enjoy and keep on its shelf for generations. The book is available on Amazon and the link is in the description. What a find. Look at these amazing kayaks and they were so cool. They let me go up and check them out. So you guys got a, you guys got a fish over here. Yep. Oh my, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whew, look at this. Oh, that's a good size. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. These are some of the most geared out I have seen. You guys have depth finders on these? Yeah. My yeah, gosh. Wow. That is geared up. And then let me see this one right here too. This one, this, this is, up it's huge. Wow. Look at that. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Thank you. What a perfect day for Alexis and I to just get out and drive along the East Oahu coastline. I recommend this. If you find yourself heading to Hawaii and you're going to be on Oahu, don't just stay in Waikiki. Explore the island. Tell us a little bit about how you got into DJing. Okay, so I've always been really into music my entire life. I grew up as a dancer. I've always loved anything in the music industry. I was in theater. I loved to sing with my sister and everything. So I already was very familiar with um, music in that whole realm. And um, it's kind of been a, a very trendy thing lately to, you know, DJ. And DJs have, you know, grown so much in the past couple of years that um, I've always just admired them and, you know, thought that I've would want to learn it and in Colorado it, there's a lot of free time that I felt like I had with, in the winter time when there wasn't really much to do and I'm such an outdoorsy person that I like to keep myself busy and I'm like I need to find a new hobby that I can do inside when it's so cold outside I can't really do much so I decided to purchase 
um, a small DJ board for I remember. myself. Yeah, I remember the and first one yeah. you had. It was like this big. It was small. Yeah, it was like a portable yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Was, it, yeah. it was perfect. It was perfect for learning. That's all I needed at the time. And I just taught, I, every day I did it like for a couple hours here or there whenever I found time. And I just did it with my earphones on. My roommate didn't mind because I always had my earphones on, but I was in there jamming out all the time. And then once I, you know, started getting pretty good and I was like, this is a great hobby and I also enjoy it, you know, maybe I can, you know, do it as like, a, you know, side hustle or kind of like a small career. So I decided to purchase a bigger one that yeah. was a little bit more advanced, a lot it's more like, professional. It's like, yeah. made, it's like a major machine. Yeah. yeah. And I decided to purchase that and speakers and everything so that I could really, you know, progress and kind of be like, you know, the real deal kind of if you want to, you know, do it professionally or do it, you know, more seriously, you kind of have to put more money into it and kind of have to, you know, get better equipment. So that's what I did and I've been practicing and now I play at events and parties and, you know, play it for different things and it's been a lot of fun. It's a great hobby and I love it. It's yeah, great. you're doing really good on it. Yeah. I know you're getting busy and, uh, I like what you said about now you can mix your music and actually take it with you. Yeah. And you show up at these places that are geared up. Yeah. And you just show up and go boom and you're in. Yeah. And you can use their equipment. That's good. So yeah, that's the best part is that most places that I'm playing at already has the equipment. So yeah. I just show up. I'm ready to play. I just I like show that. up that's with nice. my music. It's great. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I think it's really a fun hobby, yeah. and you've, you've taken it to the next step. It's not yeah. a hobby anymore. It's it's fun. Yeah, I like it. It's good. <laughs> good, thank you. In East Oahu, we have, of course, a great little family-owned shave ice location, Uncle Clay's. This is where you go to get the shave ice and the ice cream and snacks. This one looks good. This chocolate delight. Or this one, this strawberry dream, which is their most popular. I think Strawberry Dream is the way to go. Okay. I'll have one Strawberry Dream, please. Uncle Clay's will have all your locals coming in, and it's also in a good location where you get some of the tourists coming through as well. These are local snacks, kind of a nice mixture of different Li Hing flavoring. This is the actual shave ice machine, and they're going ahead and making up different sizes. Oh, yes, you know, this is part of Hawaii. This is the way we go relax and refresh on a hot day after the beach, you get yourself a shave ice. A nice mixture of strawberry and blueberries. A little bit of shave ice with a scoop of ice cream on top. Very good mixture. This was refreshing. This was just what we needed. Returning to Hawaii after being gone for a year. Yeah, a nice trip to Uncle Clay's. This is perfect. <laughs> Driving along East Oahu, I tell you all the years of taking motorcycle along here and then also taking the kids to these beaches. This is part of returning home. I have another year ahead of me, another year of traveling the world. It's so good to just relax and remember Hawaii this way. Well, thank you for spending some time with me today. We got a chance to not only see a little bit more of beautiful East Honolulu, this area that I live in, but you got a chance to meet and chat a little bit with my daughter, Alexis, who is in town from college, so that is nice. If you would like to know more about this lifestyle, living low cost, traveling the world as a minimalist, the way that I do with one backpack, like and subscribe the video, because that is what we do here. If you wanna know more about the hiking sandals that I have been traveling the world with, there is a link in the description with more information on those sandals. 
If you want to know more about the great backpack that I've been traveling with, there's a link in the description as well to give you more information on that backpack. Okay, uh, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful sunset. We will talk again soon. Aloha. It has just been amazing for sunset since I've been here. I'm so glad I captured these. I thought we were all safe from the mad dogs here in Honolulu, but they found us. The mad snacking the dogs of East Oahu. Just look at them. These vicious beasts. They're trying to act all sweet, but the fact is they're vicious and they're killers. The mad dogs of East Oahu. Written in style of Old English alternative verse. <laughs> Wait, I'm so weird to say. It's alliterative. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Pater patterns? Let me see. Patrons. Patrons? Yeah, That's happy nice. patrons. Patrons are like people that are like okay. drinking and eating. Patrons. Let me just make sure. Let me read. What are they? What are they teaching you at college? I'm not good at reading. We've been through this. <laughs>